Welcome back to our system design series. In today's video, we are going to talk about throughput, a key metric for understanding how much work your system can handle over time. Throughput is essential for designing systems that can meet the demands of a growing user base. So what is exactly as, um, a throughput? Okay, so let's just try to understand it in a quick example. Let's say that we have a client here. Okay, let's just zoom in. And this client is sending a request to our server or our system. Okay, so in simple terms, throughput measures the amount of work done or data processed in a given period of time. It gives us an idea of how much your system can handle, whether it's the number of requests per second, transactions per second, or even the number of message of messages handled by mes by messaging queue, for example. So if our server this have a high throughput, that means our system can send to it a lot of requests at the, at the same time, and maybe other clients could send a request to it at, a, at, um, at the same time, and it can handle them. Let's say that in our server, it has a high throughput with like, let's say that 100, 100 um, requests per second. So the throughput of our server, that that means our server can handle 100, per, 100 um, request every second from different clients. So throughput is typically expressed in terms of requests per second or transactions per second. For example, if you are designing a payment system, the, um, the transactions per second will give you in, uh, an indication of how many transactions can be processed in one second. Similarly, in a web service, uh, the requests per second tells you how many user requests can be handled per second without overwhelming the system. Imagine you are running an e-commerce website during big sales events, such as a Black Friday, your system might receive a massive influx of user requests. The throughput of your system will determine whether it can handle those thousands of transactions happened every second or whether the system starts to slow down or even fail under the load. The goal of improving throughput is to maximize the amount of work the system can perform without sacrificing performance or user experience. One common way to increase a throughput is by paralyzing tasks, for example, or for instance, and instead of handling requests uh, sequ uh, uh, sequentially, you can distribute the load across multiple servers, allowing the system to handle many requests simultaneously. Another technique is batch processing, where similar tasks are grouped together and processed at the same time, improving overall efficiency. I will create videos about these two terms in the future, but for now, we need to talk about the throughput and we need to understand how what is a throughput and how it works and why it's important to, to, uh, to, to care and understand and to measure the throughput. So it's important to know that while latency and throughput are closely related, they are not the same thing. Latency is about fast, uh, it's about how fast each individual request is, Processed, whereas throughput measures how much work is done overall. And I will create a specific video that talks about what are the differences between a throughput and latency. So um, that's it. If you enjoyed this uh, series so far, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss any content. And see you guys in future problems.